Hello artists. Today we are going to be taking our knowledge of line and we're going to be making temporary drawings. A temporary drawing is a drawing that isn't permanent. It's a drawing that can go away in the blink of an eye. Here is a picture of a temporary sculpture. What do you think would happen to this sculpture when the summer comes around? This sculpture was created by Andy Goldsworthy. Andy Goldsworthy is famous for making temporary sculptures. Today we're going to make our temporary drawings using string, yarn, or any sort of wire that you might be able to find around the house. Here I have yarn, but you can also find ribbon, maybe a shoelace, maybe your charging wire. You can use any sort of string, anything like that to create your temporary drawing today. Today I'm going to start off by using yarn. So here I'm just cutting a few pieces of yarn. If you're doing something similar and you're using scissors, please ask an adult's help. If you can, try to have at least five different size strings to work with. Pause the video here to grab your supplies. So today you are going to experiment with using the string as your line. See if you can make a wavy line, a spiral line, a zigzag line. You can try writing your name or making other letters. Practice making a loopy line. You can create the first letter of your name. Then you can experiment with a few different kinds of drawings you want to do. Will you make a self-portrait? Will you draw a friend or family member? Maybe you'll create a landscape of some sort. Will you create an animal or a pet that you have? The choice is yours. Experiment with at least four different temporary drawings. If you're at home or you have your iPad in school, you can photograph a few different drawings that you have and upload them onto Seesaw. Okay, artists. So keep experimenting with your string or yarn, making your temporary drawings. But once you've experimented with a few different drawings, I want you to choose one that you're going to turn from temporary to permanent. Pause the video here, and when you're ready, you can resume it. For this next step, you will need your temporary drawing in string or yarn, a piece of paper, something to draw with or write with, and definitely a pencil to write your name on the back. The first thing I'm doing is turning my paper over and writing my name and class code if you're in school. Then flip your paper over so we're ready to begin our drawing. I'm taking a close look at how my string is arranged on the table. I'm using my pen to kind of trace around or make an imaginary drawing by following the line with my pen. After I chose a spot to practice my imaginary drawing with my pen, I took my cap off and I started to make my drawing onto my paper. For every yarn that I'm going to copy onto my paper, I'm first tracing it as if I'm making an imaginary drawing in the air to practice it before putting it onto my paper. Once I feel like I have the correct shape, then I'm going to put my marker to the paper and draw that line. Soon after I draw all of my lines of my string onto my paper, my temporary drawing is going to go from a drawing that can go away to a drawing that's permanently on my paper forever. So once you have all of your materials out, 
you can practice tracing over the lines of your yarn in the air like I'm doing here. And then once you feel ready, you can draw that line onto your paper. I can't wait to see what you come up with, artists. Since you're already experts at making lines, I think you will be awesome at doing this drawing. Have so much fun.